Gill's criteria for aggression states that for any aggression to be valid, the form of behaviour needs to be physical or verbal. Injury or harm needs to be directed towards another living being. Gill's criteria also states that aggression must be done on purpose and if done by accident, then it is not classed as aggression, and the act of aggression must involve causing harm or injury designed to cause physical or psychological harm. Hostile aggression is when the goal is to harm, the intent is to harm, and, if out, and it is outside the rules of the game. Instrumental aggression is when the goal is to win, the intent is to harm, but is in, within the rules of the game. Assertive aggression is when the goal is to win, the intent is to win, and it is in, within the rules of the game. This video is showing hostile aggression as it is intending to cause harm and the goal is to harm. The theory this may come under is aggressive cue. This is because there may have been a rivalry between the two clubs or players that has caused him to react like this. Other reasons may include his team was losing, he was playing poorly or he was previously fouled by this player. This video is showing instrumental aggression because in boxing the athlete's goal is to win the fight but he is intended to harm and knock out his opponent. This type of aggression links to intrinsic theory, natural response because everyone is born with instinct to sense danger and in boxing the boxer's instinct is to fight back when the opponent punches him. This video is showing you an example of assertive aggression. The theory which this video shows is the intrinsic theory as this will be tackled within the rules and it is in his own instinct which lets him do this tackle to stop the opposition from getting through. The rugby player could have also used the aggressive cue hypothesis trigger as this is when he was playing the game. This situation could have arise due to the 